Good afternoon, our friends from the press. Let's welcome our members of the dais. We have Madam Puna Mutreja, Executive Director, Population Foundation of India. We have Mr. Firoz Abbas Khan, esteemed director and a big voice in social change. And we have Mr. Farhan Akhtar, founder of MARD, Men Against Rape and Discrimination. Ma'am, I would request you to kindly take the proceedings and tell our friends from the media about Bas Ab Bohat Ho Gaya, the campaign. So I'm from an NGO called Population Foundation of India, which has been working for 50 years on Mahilaon's health. And we discovered that Mahilaon's health is very related to violence. And we say that God is everywhere, but we have seen that violence is everywhere for Mahilaon. In the house, घर के बाहर, बस स्टॉप में, बस में, ट्रेन में हर जगह और ये उनके मेंटल, फिजिकल और साइकोलॉजिकल हेल्थ पे बहुत असर करती है और महिलाओं को आगे बढ़ने से रोकती है। एक में से तीन में से एक महिला अपने हस्बैंड या पार्टनर द्वारा सेक्सुअल अब्यूज सहन करती है और वायलेंस सहन करती है अपने घर में, घर के अंदर हमने ये भी देखा कि महिलाओं को कोई रास्ता नहीं है हमारा जो पब्लिक हेल्थ सिस्टम है हमारी पब्लिक है हर जगह महिलाओं जहां जाती हैं वहां वायलेंस एक साइलेंट किलर है एक महिला सुइसाइडल होती है डिप्रेस होती है पिटती है उसको फिजिकल दर्द होता है और हमने ये भी देखा कि आंकड़े ये बताते हैं कि 50 प्रतिशत से ज़्यादा महिलाएं और पुरुष कहते हैं कि इट इज़ लेजिटिमेट सही है एक महिला को मारना कारण क्या देते हैं अगर वो आर्ग्यू करती है इज आर्ग्यूमेंट अ रीज़न फॉर वायलेंस अगर वो सेक्स करने से मना करती है हमारा नया रेप बिल बना है उसमें रेप विद इन मैरिज इलीगल नहीं है इसका मतलब ये लीगल है एक पुरुष कर सकता है रेप या सेक्सुअल अब्यूज अपनी महिला के साथ या और अन्य महिलाओं के साथ हमने ये भी देखा कि महिलाएं जो घर से बाहर नहीं निकल पाती हैं लड़कियों को स्कूल जाने की इजाजत नहीं होती कॉलेज जाने की इजाजत नहीं होती ये वायलेंस के डर से स्पेशली सेक्सुअल वायलेंस के डर से तो हमने सोचा इसके लिए क्या करना है सिर्फ हम महिलाओं के स्वास्थ्य पे इस मुद्दे को इग्नोर करके काम नहीं कर सकते तो हमने देखा कि देश विदेश में एंटरटेनमेंट एजुकेशन एक माध्यम है जिससे हम लोगों की सोच बदल सकते हैं और बिहेवियर भी बदल सकते हैं तो हमने एक धारावाहिक जो जिसका नाम है मैं कुछ भी कर सकती हूँ दूरदर्शन पे डाला और उससे बहुत असर पड़ा वायलेंस के ऊपर लोगों की सोच के ऊपर और ये फिरोज खान ने डायरेक्ट किया है और इसमें जब फरहान अख्तर आए एस सूत्रधार तो हमारी व्यूअरशिप डबल हो गई और डबल नहीं उनके जो संदेश थे वो संदेश लोगों ने अपनाए और फोन कॉल्स हमारे पास 1.7 मिलियन फोन कॉल्स टोटल आई कि क्या असर पड़ा है इस धारावाहिक का जिसको हमने एनालाइज किया और हमने देखा कि सचमुच एंटरटेनमेंट एजुकेशन के माध्यम से आप लोगों की सोच भी बदल सकते हैं और बिहेवियर भी बदल सकते हैं फिर हमने ये भी देखा कि नंबर्स लोग समझते हैं सिर्फ एंटरटेनमेंट लोग देखना चाहते हैं यही हम समझते हैं न नहीं एंटरटेनमेंट एजुकेशन दूरदर्शन के आंकड़े जो कहते हैं वी रीच 400 400 मिलियन मेन वेमेन एंड यंग पीपल अक्रॉस द कंट्री वी आल्सो फाउंड दैट द गवर्नमेंट रेकग्नाइज के हमारी हमारा जो ये धारावाहिक है या एंटरटेनमेंट एजुकेशन यंग लोगों की सोच बदल सकता है तो आठ मिलियन यंग पीपल के लिए कार्यक्रम बनाया गया है इस देश में जिसमें मैं कुछ भी कर सकती हूँ कि आवाज और उसमें एक फिल्म है जो फरहान के मैसेजेस हैं वो एट मिलियन लोगों को देश में पहुँच रही है और हमने इसलिए मैं ये कहना चाहती हूँ हमने क्यों पीएफआई कैसे पार्टनर कर रही है और क्यों पार्टनर कर रही है फिरोज अब्बास खान के साथ और फरहान अख्तर के साथ 
मैंने देखा जब ये निर्भय कांड हुआ था फरहान अख्तर को क्या असर उसका कितना आ, कितना असर पड़ा उसी के बाद उन्होंने मर्द भी बनाया सही है और फिरोज के साथ हमारी बहुत सालों से ये कैसे काम करना है महिलाओं के स्वास्थ्य पे और महिलाओं के वायलेंस रोकने के लिए पाँच साल से बात कर रहे हैं और हमने ये देखा कि फरहान और फिरोज दोनों सिर्फ एक मैसेज देके नहीं चले जाते कंसिस्टेंटली काम करते हैं और जो फरहान का मैसेज है कि मर्द का मैसेज है कि एक मर्द Uh, जो सोचता है इट इज़ अ स्ट्रेंथ टू बीट वेमेन इट्स एक्चुअली अ वीकनेस ये हम और आगे पहुंचाना चाहते हैं और जो एंटरटेनमेंट एजुकेशन है आज फिरोज खान उसके मैं कहूंगी सिर्फ इंडिया में नहीं ग्लोबली ही इज़ रिकग्नाइज एज अ सक्सेसफुल डायरेक्टर राइटर टू चेंज बिहेवियर्स ऑफ पीपल एंड दीज आर टू मैन हु केयर डीपली अबाउट चेंजिंग द रियालिटीज ऑफ वेमेन एंड सो वी आर पार्टनरिंग विद दैम and finally i'd like to say that hamare desh mein defecation free um, country ke liye pradhan mantri aur sab ne lalkar di hai par ab ye jo lalkar hai wo hai ke hame violence rokna hai band karna hai baatein bahut ho gayi hain aankde bahut nikal aaye hain schemes bahut bani hain laws bhi bane hain all that is necess uh, is important necessary but not sufficient for ending violence we have to go many steps further aur ye campaign hum milke karenge firoz ji poonam ji ne mention kiya ki ye jo campaign ko aap apne education entertainment ke through aage badha rahe hain logo tak ye soch pahuncha rahe hain ऊपरी लेवल पे तो ये जनरली लोगों को एंटरटेनमेंट लगता है लेकिन एक गहरी सोच के साथ थॉट प्रोसेस के साथ जो लोगों तक पहुंच रहे हैं उसके बारे में कुछ बताएं लेट मी थैंक यू बहुत बहुत शुक्रिया आपका और पूनम जी का आई थिंक पूनम जी ने सब कुछ कही दिया है तो उस पर मैं ज़्यादा अब आई एम नॉट गुड डिवेल मोर ऑन दैट आई थिंक वी आर हेयर टूडे पर्टिकुलरली टू टॉक अबाउट दिस कैम्पेन बस अब बहुत हो गया है एंड देन द कॉन्सर्ट दैट वी आर गो टू हैव आई लाइक टू जस्ट फोकस ऑन दैट एट दिस पॉइंट ऑफ टाइम दैट आई थिंक समवे आफ्टर वॉट हैपन विद द निर्भया केस वी ऑल डिसाइडेड दैट यू नो थिंग्स आर गो टू बी फाइन अ न्यू लॉ हैज़ कम इन एंड थिंग्स विल बिकम फाइन एंड एवरी थिंग विल नाउ बी गुड फॉर द वेमेन एंड वी रियलाइज दैट दैट इज नॉट वर्किंग Uh, this is a continuous and a sustained engagement we cannot just react to it we react to a situation it's like you react to floods you react to uh, you know uh, uh, natural calamities and then we forget about it i think in this case we can't do that and that is the reason that we've got together this is a campaign that runs for almost 3 uh, almost uh, to to and a half years and the campaign started with some extraordinary films that farhan's company made on sania mirza and on vidya balan and those were really absolutely brilliant films and they kick started the campaign after that what we did that we engaged with about 500 colleges and we had 40 colleges where we had our workshops on violence against women and we asked the students to give us 2 minute films on violence against women and we got 1700 films from that and then there was a whole campaign all around the country the idea is to sensitize on a continuous basis violence against women and girls and as a part of that we have a culmination in the concert about which farhan will speak much more but what we are here together is to is to is to is to tell you that we are not going to just stop at this concert we are not going to just stop with this campaign we will be continuously engaged in every on every media in every forum because there's one thing we also realize that with the ngos uh, they they tend to speak to the same people again and again so you know you're talking to the converted and that doesn't really work we want to scale it up we want to go to a large number of people we want to go to people who normally don't reach and on a continuous basis to tell them this is enough is enough it cannot go on like this and you look at the newspaper every day you look at what is happening you look at the tv channels and it's just not stopping it just doesn't stop 
सो आई थिंक इट्स एक्सट्रीमली इंपॉर्टेंट दैट वी टेक दिस वेरी सीरियसली एंड एज वी हैव द स्टोगन के अगर देश को बदलना है तो मर्द को बदलना होगा देर इज नो क्वेश्चन अबाउट दैट वुमेन हैव डन इट इट्स टाइम दैट द मैन स्टैंड अप एंड अनलेस दे चेंज द चेंज वोट हैपन दैट क्विकली दैट्स ऑल थैंक यू थैंक यू सर आपने एक अलग नज़रिया दिया कि अब तक औरतों को ही बदलने की उनको हुई विक्टिम होने की बात कही जा रही थी लेकिन अब बाजी मर्द को बदलने के ऊपर है आपने सस्टेन्ड प्रोग्राम की भी बात की पिछले कई दिनों से पिछले कई महीनों से कार्यक्रम चल रहा है और उसी के अंतर्गत कई सारी एक्टिविटीज़ हुई हम चाहेंगे कि हमारी पूरी मीडिया यहाँ पर जितने भी लोग मौजूद हैं एक फिल्म के जरिए देखें कि पिछले कई वर्षों से कि क्या काम हुआ है उसका क्या एम्पलीफिकेशन रहा है चाहे सोशल मीडिया पे हो चाहे ऑन ग्राउंड हो चाहे दूरदर्शन के जरिए उन फिल्मों से हो या फिर सेलिब्रिटी वॉइस से हो तो आइए ये फिल्म देखते हैं और देखते हैं कि क्या पिछले कुछ सालों में किया और करना चाहते हैं गोइंग डायलॉग विथ द सोसाइटी विद आर सेल्स रिक्वेस्ट मैडम पूनम मथरेजा जी Mr. Akhtar and Mr. Abbas Khan, Feroz Abbas Khan, to kindly take seats. We've spoken to you, ma'am. We've spoken to you, <coughs> sir. Mr. Akhtar, uh, we all know about your initiative, Mard, and now this is culminating into this campaign is culminating into an evening, which is called Lalkar. Can you please help us uh, with more details on this? Yeah, absolutely. Um, firstly, um, um, what Poonam was speaking about um, the reasons to come together. I think um, all of us were seriously, seriously affected um, by what happened in December, uh, the Nirbhaya incident that everybody calls. Um, and what was an emotional response to it? You know, uh, it resonated um, in a way uh, with with so many people. Um, and when you start on a journey, Marath was started in in response to that. um but it wasn't only about that there were many things that had happened before you know and conversations that happen uh, in living rooms uh, over the phone where you feel frustrated you feel angry you feel helpless um you uh, kind of um, rail against um society against the system what is going on um but i think what happened was that it was a bit of a tipping point for everyone um where people realized and um at least i decided that it wasn't enough to just sit and share opinions with friends it's important to take that message out to people that all of us have a collective concern um and when you do go down that path you know and when you're when you're going down that path it's important at times when you have um the ideas to do things when you have even the energy to do things but you don't have the direction as to how it is that you can take things forward um and i feel so fortunate that uh, at that point i've met um uh, people like feroz like punam you know who have really channelized i think this this energy um and who've um added so much in terms of the knowledge that they have to be being able to understand this problem a lot more to understand these issues a lot more um and not only keep it about just this one emotional response to one incident as feroz said very rightfully so it it is tiring you know how much can you keep absorbing every single day we all would love to wake up in the morning and look at a newspaper and not worry or have that insecurity that i'm going to see some horrendous news you know about some violence against a woman or a girl um and many people that i know have actually stopped subscribing to newspapers just purely out of that fear that they do not want this kind of news um and we together you know like there are laws that have been passed rightfully so uh, there are laws that still need to be included like punam has mentioned about domestic rape that need to be included but beyond all of that it is a responsibility that all of us share to do something uh, about solving this this problem it's not you cannot leave it up to to other people to do it and for that um whether we inspire them through film through song through a wonderful show that uh, that feroz had ideated main kuch bhi kar sakti hu um it is important that we keep uh, the awareness up and in tandem with that um and uh, in accordance with that um there is this concert that we have planned now on the 21st of november which is called lalkar um because we do feel that it is a time now that we have to really really call out to people 
in a way where we cannot just politely tap them on the shoulder and say, excuse me if you don't mind. It's, it's not about that anymore. We have to really, really reach out to them, let them know that this is a challenge that faces all of us, that all of us as young men, um, our country is a very young country, you know, um, the, the largest population is below 25. So we have to reach out to all these men and we have to let them know that you are the, the people who are going to create this tomorrow for what men in this country need to be thinking like. Um, and music, according to me, is one of the most powerful platforms that can be used to bringing people together. We have been going to colleges um, since 2013 now uh, with the Farhan Live concert where we do speak about Mard. We speak about um, the charter that Mard had drawn out, which is in the form of a poem. Um, and there's been a phenomenal response to every place that we've gone. And now to me, this is really the next level where it's not about just me as an artist going, but me also in, uh, in sync with, with Feroz's ideas and Feroz's thoughts and Poonam ideas and her thoughts, getting more artists together so that we can reach more and more people with this idea and this, um, uh, this awareness building that we need to do. So 21st of November at Bandra Amphitheater, there is a concert happening. There will be Salim Suleiman, there will be Papon, there will be Sukriti Prakriti, and many other artists who will be performing there. Uh, so please, everybody watching, please do come, please do support it. It's going to be streamed live as well. All the details will be available to you shortly. So even if you are not in Mumbai and you cannot make it to the venue, it's still possible for you to be a part of the live event as it unfolds. So thank you very much, all of you, for coming here. I also want to say thank you to the amazing behind-the-scenes team of all uh, of PFI, uh, of people who work with Feroz and especially also of Mard, who've been working day and night to also get this this event together. Thank you all of you for all your hours and hours of work and sleepless nights. Um, and thank you all to the media for being here today. Thank you. And I'm sure uh, you all would have a few questions to the members at the dais. We leave the house open for your questions. फरहान जी और पूनम जी आप भी कोई भी जॉब दे सकता है अक्सर हमने सुना है कि इंडस्ट्री में बहुत यौन शोषण होता है वे प्रियंका जी ने भी कहा कुछ हद तक लड़कियां को भी सुधरने की जरूरत है सेकंडली हमारी सोसाइटी में कुछ कपल्स ऐसे हैं जो बिना शादी के रह रही हैं लड़कियां और लड़के तो इसका असर और सोसाइटी में कैसे पड़ता हमारी बच्चियों के ऊपर सबके ऊपर कुछ हद तक हमें अपने आप को तो सुधारना है जेंट्स को लेडीज को भी सुधारना पड़ेगा आप क्या कहना चाहते हो सर पहले तो मैं कहूँगा अगर दो इफ टू पीपल हु आर एडल्ट्स आर लिविंग टुगेदर कंसेंशुअली तो उसमें कुछ प्रॉब्लम तो होना नहीं चाहिए किसी को भी इन फैक्ट इट्स लीगल टुडे इन इंडिया टू लिव टुगेदर द सुप्रीम कोर्ट जजमेंट वंडरफुल सो दैट मेक्स इट इवन इवन बेटर विदाउट शादी तो अच्छी हाँ सर उसमें क्या प्रॉब्लम है अगर दोनों को खुशी है मतलब एक साथ रहते हुए उन दोनों को कुछ प्रॉब्लम है हमें क्यों प्रॉब्लम होना चाहिए अगर वो एक साथ रहना चाहिए हमारी बच्चियाँ हैं उनके ऊपर असर गलत जाता है नहीं सर इसमें बुरी असर की बात तो है ही नहीं मतलब आफ्टर 18 अ गर्ल इज़ एंटाइटल टू हैवर ओन लाइफ हैवर ओन ओपिनियन अबाउट वॉट शी वुड लाइक टू बी लाइक टू डू सिमिलरली अमेंड अस टू और अगर दोनों को खुशी मिल रही है कि दे कैन लिव टुगेदर उसमें मतलब बुरी असर की कोई बात नहीं है बुरा असर तो ये पड़ता है अगर हस्बैंड अपने वाइफ को पीटे और उनके नेबर्स जो हैं वो कुछ नहीं करें उसके बारे में बुरा असर तो ये पड़ेगा यही सोच खाप पंचायत की तरफ ले जाती है हमको अगर इस सोच को हमने आगे बढ़ाया तो वही फिर खाप पंचायत की होती है कि आप ये नहीं कर सकते हैं एडल्ट हैं बड़े हैं और उनकी जो खुशी है वही मापदंड होना चाहिए बच्चों का कि उनकी खुशी क्या है ना कि हमारा मापदंड उन पर डाला जाए नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन देखिए मैं ये सवाल का एक इनको जवाब देना चाहती हूँ एक तो लीगल है कुछ सोच समझ के सुप्रीम कोर्ट ने ये जजमेंट दिया है इट इज़ लीगल टू लिव टुगेदर एक शादी हो या पीपल आर लिविंग टुगेदर इज्जत प्यार ये सब बहुत ज़रूरी है और जिस शादी में हमने पहले भी बताया एक में से तीन महिलाएं पिटती हैं और उनके साथ शादी के अंदर सेक्शुअल अब्यूज और रेप होता है तो आप कैसे कह सकते हैं कि सिर्फ के सिर्फ शादी में रहना चाहिए महिलाओं को दूसरा 
आप कह रहे हैं महिलाओं को कुछ बदलना पड़ेगा नहीं मर्द को बदलना पड़ेगा हम कह बहुत से लोग की ऐसी सोच है जैसे पॉलिटिकल लीडर्स ने भी कहा कि महिलाओं को आठ बजे के बाद नहीं बाहर निकलना चाहिए मैं कहती हूँ कि मर्दों को बाहर नहीं निकलना चाहिए अगर वो अपने आप को कंट्रोल नहीं कर सकते महिलाओं ने क्या किया है महिलाओं ने कुछ नहीं किया है क्या किया है फरहान मेरा सवाल ये था कि आ, मतलब जो ये कैंपेन स्टार्ट हुआ या मर्द भी जो आया निर्भया मतलब कांड के बाद आया आ, उनके साथ जो कुछ हुआ उसमें जुवेनाइल मतलब जो थे रेपिस्ट मतलब आ, वो भी इंक्लूडेड थे और ये बहस चल रही है कि जुवेनाइल जो हैं रेपिस्ट या चाहे उस तरह के क्राइम करने वाले उनको कैपिटल पनिशमेंट मिलनी चाहिए या नहीं मिलनी चाहिए या अदर जो भी हैं मतलब इस किस्म के रेपिस्ट उनके लिए लॉ को और कितना सख्त होना जरूरी है towards capital punishment sir i'm honestly i'm not uh, the right person to be giving you the answer to this there are laws in this country that everybody has agreed to live by um and once the supreme court which is the highest court has given a certain judgment i don't think that i am anybody to say what they are saying is right or wrong um but beyond that i think what we are focusing on is not what you are talking about what we are focusing on is that hopefully a situation like this should never arise again that's what we are hoping and uh, to focus on so um, our entire campaign is not talking about how do we punish people who commit crimes our campaign is talking about let's create a society where these kind of crimes are not committed sir agar aap ideal situation sochenge tabhi to aap pahunch payenge uske paas mere sawal aap teenon se hai जिस तरह से ये सोशल मीडिया पे कैंपेन चलाया जा रहा है इतने सारे लोग जो हैं इसको सपोर्ट कर रहे हैं लेकिन हमने देखा अधिकतर इस तरह की जो घरेलू हिंसा की बात होती है या औरतों पे मारपीट होती है या दुराचार होता है वो इस तरह के मर्द करते हैं जो पढ़े लिखे नहीं होते हैं जो इस तरह की सोशल मीडिया साइट्स का इस्तेमाल नहीं करते मैं ये नहीं कह रही हूँ कि ऐसे लोग नहीं होते बट अधिकतर हमारे देश में ऐसा देखा जाता है जो लोग सोशली इतना एक्टिव नहीं है वो इस तरह की घटनाओं को करते हैं तो उन तक पहुँचने के लिए आप लोग क्या अव्वल तो ये कहना कि पढ़े लिखे नहीं करते हैं ये बहुत बड़ा भ्रम है और हाँ और और वायलेंस भी कुछ फिजिकल होता है बट उससे ज़्यादा डेंजरस इमोशनल वायलेंस होता है तो इसका किसी पढ़े लिखे से हालांकि मेरा तो तजुर्बा कुछ और है कि जो पढ़े लिखे नहीं होते हैं जो गाँवों में जो होते हैं हमने देखा है उनको उनकी इज्जत का जो पूरा जो मा जो जो उनके संबंध है बिल्कुल अलग तरीके से होते हैं तो ये पहले तो मैं आपसे ये कह देना चाहता हूँ एंड दूसरा ये है कि हमारा काम ये है कि हमने एक धारावाहिक की है ये कॉन्सर्ट कर रहे हैं और हम ये सोचते हैं कि हमने शुरुआत की थी लोग और जुड़ें उसमें तो ऑफलाइन अगर आप कहें तो ये कॉन्सर्ट हो रहा है और उसके साथ साथ जैसे कहा हमने टेलीविज़न भी किया है और ये कंटिन्यूस हमारा चलते रहेगा उन चीज़ों के साथ में फरान I have a question for you. Uh, while this is a very wonderful initiative that you've taken, there's one thing that has come up in the media nowadays is how actresses and women have also been abused by people in the industry. Don't you think that everybody who are at the top level in the industry should come out and say that you know it's wrong to you know abuse or take advantage of women in the industry? I Don't think everybody. No, I think everybody has. I don't know of any there, single person who's said. Uh, but there has been no active initiative taken that you make sure that who these people are there have been no names that have come up don't you think it's valid that everybody um, well i think first to start, firstly to start with it would be important for women who have been subjected to it to speak out who do i who they do have support? been speaking out but they have not been taking names because they're scared of name probably because they're at the very top mm -hmm. continuing from this do you think that we actually provide safe environment to actresses or female artists in the industry to for them to come and speak about it you know no um no i don't think so i i feel firstly um um wherever there is an industry where there is power dynamic at play so be it the corporate world be it film be it any world there will always be these issues unfortunately um and it is i think right now the environment that exists the world over the kind of dialogue and discourse that's happening related to gender gender violence and discrimination the world over i think this is absolutely the perfect time for people to feel enabled and empowered to come out and speak um and everyone who has their mind and their heart in the right place is going to be supportive of them and going to encourage them to to speak names and going to encourage them to tell the truth and that is their truth so i would encourage anyone who has a tale of this description to share or a story of this description to share that they have experienced or know somebody who's experienced 
to please come and speak and they definitely will find people to support them. Have you ever been on the receiving end of this? Of what? Uh, of the whole issue which is going on in the industry about uh, asking to compromise your work or taking care of your work. No, not, I mean, I haven't, so I, I, really, I really can't comment on it. But um, I definitely do know because of the kind of work that we've been doing with Mard, um, also uh, the kind of industry that we would like the film industry to be that we would like every single industry uh, to be because it's stories of whether it's molestation, sexual harassment in the workplace that happen. It's not um, uh, unique to the film industry. We hear it in, every, uh, in many, many different fields of work. And I feel that emphasis on all of them should be equal enough and should be done. So whether it's, we've heard stories from um, uh, in the legal world, we've heard stories in the corporate world, we've heard stories in, in the political world, you know, so wherever we can um, uh, speak out, wherever we can encourage women to speak out, we must. Hello. taking a strong action uh, against it, uh, apart from naming and shaming such men, uh, do you think Bollywood uh, can also stand up and, uh, you know, take action once as and when these people are exposed? Well, you know, I, I think um, it would happen. You know, uh, if you see the reaction to incidents that have, have occurred in the past, I don't want to be, uh, I don't know, it seems strange now to bring up uh, names of people who've, uh, who've been through these things, but um, it has happened in the past where there have been people from the film industry who have got embroiled in cases uh, where, um, whether it be rape, whether it be sexual harassment, and there has been a reaction to it. Um, you can actually look this up and maybe find those names yourself, but it does happen. So I feel that if um, more people do come out <coughs> and speak up, I think firstly the important thing is for people to speak up. I, f I have no knowledge of anyone personally that I can share a story with you and say this person spoke up because I can't speak on somebody else's behalf. It is up to that person to speak out or not. But uh, I would encourage them through your mediums to, to absolutely speak out if they but have something to share. Can I just slightly, uh, I think, uh, I think it's not fair that you only talk about the film industry. This is obvious because, you know, uh, cricketers, film industry seems to be the one that are very popular. This happens at every place. And worse things happen, at least in the media, that you are there in the film industry, you can speak and somebody will even know what happens in corporates, what happens in government offices, what happens in other places. So if we can broaden the discussion, I think it would be very fair for this particular uh, project that we are here. I think otherwise we'll be talking about why you did not do it, why it is a problem not just of the film industry. Please get that very, very clear. It's a problem that goes across the country and that's what when Poonam says, this is the research that is telling us that this is how women are taking and this is how men are behaving. Your newspapers, when they talk about the violence against women, six-year-old girls rape, they are not from film industry. They are from other places. What is happening in the corporate world, will, the kind of violence that's going on, the kind of behavior, it's all over the place. You know about what happened in some of the digital companies and all that. They are not from film industry. It's happening in the workplace. We must ask that the workplaces must be safe for women, not just the film industry. Film industry still has a voice. Others don't even have a voice. What about all those people who don't have a voice? So I think if we can broaden that, it might help the discussion. Otherwise, we'll just get concentrated. I also want yeah. to say here that the biggest abuse happens in the household. Ghar ke andar. The husband is a big abuser and for young girls, the biggest abuser, if the list shows, is the father. And this is all done, what we call interpersonal violence in the household. Sub se zada violence household mein ho. So it's yeah. like you, know, you deal patriarchy, you deal all those kind of things. Your voice about the film industry, fair enough. It's understood. The Me Too campaign now is very, very popular. And I'm sure that women will speak up. There are some women in the film industry who have been speaking. And it's not that nothing is, is, is not there. However, if there is that kind of discrimination, the film industry has the space to do. But please, let's not. What about the other people? The, I mean, you know, that's what I said. 
said that every day you read and they are people who don't have the power to even speak, not even resist. Let's talk about that. This is India that is beyond the film industry. Let's be very clear about that. So let that India also be uh, represented and spoken about here. Pardon? Huh. No, I'm, I'm, uh, no, so today, I, I think what I want to say, no, 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 I'm just saying is that today, because Basa Bhat Ho Gaya is not just about the film industry, so I would like other voices to also be heard. That's what I'm trying to say. My question is yeah. to everyone, congratulations for your initiative. ये जो कॉन्सर्ट है ललका नो डू यू फाइंड के कुछ सालों में काफी सालों में ये जो आंकड़ा है इंक्रीज हो रहा है दैट इज व्हाई इट्स लाइक ललका आर मींस सॉर्ट ऑफ लिटिल एंगर भी है इस चीज में एक्चुअली व्हाट आर ट्राइंग टू यू नो शो दिस एंड जैसे आपने कहा था कि काफी आर्टिस्ट लोग को आप इंक्लूड कर रहे तो कैन यू नेम और यू मे बी ट्राइंग लाइक यू नो कुड यू नेम फ्यू ऑफ देम हु आर विल बी जॉइनिंग दिस इनिशिएटिव जो ट्वेंटी फर्स्ट को परफॉर्म करेंगे जी हाँ या फिर आगे आपकी कुछ प्लानिंग होगी जी आगे तो उम्मीद करेंगे कि और मतलब जितने आर्टिस्ट हम जोड़ सकें इस इस जो एक नई एक प्लेटफॉर्म जो क्रिएट हुआ है वी विल ट्राई नॉट ओनली मुंबई बेस्ड आर्टिस्ट रीजनल आर्टिस्ट हों अलग अलग जबानों में जो परफॉर्म करते हों आई थिंक इट्स इक्वली एज इम्पॉर्टेंट फॉर एवरीबडी टू टू बी अ पार्ट ऑफ दिस और मतलब एक है जो एक एक एंगर है और वो इस इसमें आप जैसे आप कहते हैं ललकार जो है ये वर्ड इनाफ इज़ इनाफ जो कैंपेन है बस अब बहुत हो गया है सब में एक थोड़ा बहुत एंगर है क्योंकि मतलब ऐसा श, श, मुझे नहीं पता कि इंसिडेंट्स बढ़ रहे हैं या अवेयरनेस उसके बारे में ज़्यादा बढ़ रही है uh, मगर जो भी है वेदर इज़ द अवेयरनेस दैट्स इंक्रीजिंग ऑल द इंसिडेंट्स दैट वी आर हियरिंग ऑफ वन इंसिडेंट ऑफ वायलेंस और वन रेप इज वन टू मैनी सो वी हैव टू ट्राई एंड फिगर आउट कि मतलब वी शुड नॉट वी शुड अराइव एट अ प्लेस वो कहते हैं कि इट्स वेरी आइडियलिस्टिक आई एग्री विथ हिम इट्स आइडियलिस्टिक but the fact is that we have to work towards creating something that's idealistic and it should not be a norm it should not be something that if you wake up and you see in the morning it's just considered a part of the news that it cannot be normalized to that extent you know if you go back i remember when i was a child i remember uh, reading or hearing actually not really reading it but hearing about these two people called billa and ranga i'm sure you must have heard of them mm. in your life why is it that you still remember their name everybody remembers their name because it was so shocking what they had done that the entire society across india was traumatized by it today we read about stories like billa ranga every day in the newspaper sometimes more than one such incident do you remember the names of those people who did it do you remember the crime that they committed it's become normalized you've become desensitized to it we have to sensitize people again to it we have to let people know that listen don't let it just be a part of your day that this news comes and goes and then whatever chalo let's move on till the next big news comes and we have a reaction again like feroz said so for that reason we want to use a platform and music is a great way to reach people and it's not only going to be, go be going there and only singing songs there will be messaging there there will be a lot of things happening along with it and we want the youth of the country to engage with this um and that's really why this whole platform has been so created. you have you have friends like shahrukh khan amir and lots of other people also they have definitely tweeted and you know supported the cause but personally some way you must have spoken to them and uh, you know koi they are there for the concert or you taking them on board somewhere in well i mean see we will arrive at those things i mean right now to start telling you who from the film industry is going to be there or not be there is, is not not important uh, what's important is that people who i know uh people who i spend my time with in film and outside film are people who are very like minded who share the same concerns and if asked to come and or give some time or give anything that that would be required of them uh, i'm sure that they will gladly agree to do it as farhan just explained is that ek to ye jo campaign hai this is going live on facebook so you can understand the millions of millions of people that it's going to reach thereafter i think uh, uh, what he has you know explore uh, spoke about the idea is that we also need to go regional with this so when we'll go regional the number of people and the scale so we could reach the entire country the north east south west and that's the whole idea is to reach as many people as possible and i think the music is such a great uh, medium through which we'll be able to do that yeah So I just uh, last question, to, please. Farhan, how do you think we can make the workplace, especially Bollywood, secure for women so that they come out and speak and be sure that they will get work and not be threatened by the powerful sexual predators? Well, I think every company needs to have 
um, a very strong HR department where people can go and speak very openly about what they're experiencing in the workplace. But in case of Bollywood, there is no HR. In case of an actor. Sorry? In case of Bollywood, in case of performance. Well, every single office, production offices do have. Production offices do have. The studios that you work with do have. Uh, the people who hire you do have. So maybe you won't have it on set. You know, that's of course won't happen. But the fact is that there's definitely something no, you can every, speak to within production. Every company has to have the Vishakha guidelines in place in a sexual harassment committee. So we have to ensure that the sexual harassment committees function in every organization. And I quickly want to say that, you know, film industry, their voice will get amplified at a national level. But also this effort and the fact that entertainment education and the data that we bring has made an impact on violence against women. There is a public health policy being made by the government of India where the health system is going to respond from the village level starting there. And it is the evidence that we've given them on that, that this policy is being formulated right now. So, jo scale up karna hai ek uh, celebrities ki awaaz ke through karna hai aur dusra sarkar ke saath karna hai. So going forward, we are working with the government on a response. Helplines have been recommended across the country for women and also detection, early detection of sexual abuse and domestic violence at the village level and then treatment, counseling and so on are all being planned. Sir, so, Farhan, in your industry, is there any issue where you want to say enough is enough, a lot of them. Film industry is obsessed with your life. No, seriously. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Sir, this concerns the issues that exist in the film industry, are issues that exist in every industry. Right? So, what you are most interested in is in the film industry because you enjoy those people who are there. They are the people you are finding very boring to talk about. I see. Ask what you ask. But do you want? Yes. But that is what we are. But please understand, that is what we are here to try and change. You are telling me the problems. I already know the problems. Yes, ma'am, I understand what you are saying. But you are telling me the problems that we already know. What we are here is to try and find a solution to those problems. What we are trying to do is trying to raise awareness about these issues. What's the solution to stop all these things happening? Well, like... Is there a solution to Well, uh... Okay. I think we are done I, for the day. Can Thank I, you. Can I answer sure. that? Guys, yes, I know I, I'm a journalist myself. I understand that you want a headline. But I think by asking the same question 100 times... Yeah. <laughs> but I think he's answered most of the questions. Now you're not going to uh, you're not going to get an answer in one day. That is why it has to be a concerted campaign. There has to be a dialogue, ma'am. So how will the problem? So that is why that is why it's very important that it has. That is why basa bahot ho gaya. Basa bahot ho gaya. Aapke liye. Yes. It could be piracy to kill. I mean, piracy ke baare mein you could talk. I know. Sir, this is not the platform to speak about piracy. We are not here to speak about piracy. Yeah, please see the one thing that I can tell you. The one thing that I can tell you about the film industry nobody goes yes, out of there is no question of somebody not being taken into a film or not being taken into work because they have come out and spoken honestly about something that will not happen. They will always find work if, if there is a slight if, and that if applies to everybody, it applies to people who have never been harassed, it applies to people who have been harassed. The fact is that if people, which is the audience, at the end of the day, film is something which is very demand and supply. You may be the greatest star in the world. If three of your films don't do well, people may stop working with you. Right? So it has nothing to do with that. Tomorrow, if you are somebody who wants to come out and share their story, it is not going to affect your work. People are willing to watch your film. People will continue to watch your film. It is not going to change anything. Producers in this country want to work with people who they consider successful, as in any other field. 
if you feel that somebody if i can get somebody to sell my soap so more people will buy my soap you'll take that person similarly if you i want to sell my idea or sell my story or sell my film the person that i feel is best suited who also the people love to come and watch my story you'll try and get the best person if that person has come out and spoken about a harassment case i'm not going to not take that person in my film they are two completely different things and they should not be confused together the fact is that what we have seen in reverse is that when somebody has come out and spoken about people who have harassed them there has been a reaction to it it may not be the kind of reaction that you expect maybe you wanted more it wasn't up to the mark for you maybe that's possible but the fact is that there have been reactions and like i said when i was first asked about this if somebody has a st- has an incident a story something to share this is the perfect environment right now the world over for you to come out and share it and you will be doing yourself a favor you will be doing other women a favor by coming out and speaking or you will be doing other men a favor by speaking there are young men who have also been have said that they have been abused so there are many such issues we are here to highlight those issues we are here to try and talk about those issues and through this dialogue through speaking about it through putting more and more focus and light on it hopefully arrive at a place where we can find solutions i don't have all the solutions just yet neither do you you have anger inside of you as to why does this happen we all have that anger inside of us and we are trying to find solutions so let's work together and let's arrive at those places together we'll keep coming back here we'll be mm. having another concert at some point let's see where we've reached between now and then you know maybe we'll have some answers for you maybe some more women will have come out and spoken and we'll see how the film industry reacts yeah. to it right now i cannot tell you things that i'm unaware of you yeah, actually uh, you know there's one maid servant who spoke up and destroyed the career of an actor today if somebody can speak up from the film industry that woman had everything to lose and she did that and destroyed the career if there are women in any industry in film industry particularly who can speak and today the laws have more protection there is anonymity you can your names cannot be disclosed and so on so forth you have far more power so i think if this happens the me too campaign even in india will become very powerful but it should not just be for the film industry this power should be given to the women across the country that's what i'm saying thank, thank you. you very much sir thank you ladies and gentlemen and see you all at the pfi mard and firoz abbas khan jointly presenting the lalkar concert raising our voice against all of these issues that we spoke about on 21st november at bandra amphitheater 7 pm ये लो सर राइट सर यहाँ पे सर राइट राइट सर बलात्कार में सर राइट 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 सर थैंक यू थैंक यू